Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I'm your brother Shemayim coming back with another lesson. You know, I am part of the Diligent Soldier Camp out here in Boston, Mass. To start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. Shalom to the Bayat Dawada, Was and Si Akwathium who are staying in order according to the scriptures. Let's get straight to it, you know. The Lord Yahweh Shah told Peter three times, if you love me, feed my sheep. Okay, we are supposed to feed the sheep. We are supposed to watch over the over the sheep, man. You know, over the flock. Over over Israel, over Yasharala, you know, to give warning as watchmen, you know, first and foremost, for the elect, and Lord willing, we are found in that number, you know. Um, there's a lot of rumor talk. There's a lot of uh, 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 rumors of war talk. Okay, especially in this present time, and if you can't see that then you are clearly blinded. You know, there's a scripture that speaks about how the Lord is the one that blinds you, man. That gives you the spirit of slumber. You know, let's go to the book of Matthews, chapter 24. You know? There's a lot of things happening, man. With North Korea, you know, um, um, doing, doing um, ICBM missiles test, you know? They're running tests, man. They're running tests, shooting the ICBM missiles. You know, they, 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 um, North Korea and South Korea, they, they, um, launching um, military aircrafts. You know, preparing for war. Um, Russia, and the United States going back and forth with reckless nuclear threats. It's all part of the scriptures. Go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. All these are the beginning of sorrow, man. We are in the in the in the stages, in the early stages, you know, of of World War Three. The Lord is moving all his pieces, you know, um strategically, perfectly, you know, all according to his will. You know, and and America, she thinks she's untouchable. America thinks she's untouchable, but the Lord got got something for you. The Lord got something for you. Okay, America thinks that she's untouchable. America thinks that she shall see no um. She shall see no 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 sorrows. America is a virgin. She hasn't been touched yet. She hasn't been penetrated. She hasn't been taken down by war. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18. We're going to start at verse 5. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. The Lord has remembered your iniquities, Babylon. The Lord has remembered your iniquities, Amalekites. You Amalekites. You know, you Edomites, the Lord has remembered your iniquities, man. You so-called Jewish people, which you are from the tribe of Am Am Amalek. This is why we call you Amalekites. The head tribe of Esau, Edom. You so-called white people, the Lord has remembered your iniquities from everything that you have done to our people from polluting this world that we live in. 
you know, from destroying our people. From murdering our people, killing our people, raping our people. You know, um, poisoning our people. Lying to our people. You know, robbing our people, robbing our land. Putting us in the ghettos and the hoods. You know, making us eat food that's an abomination. You know, making yourself seem like you're God and our people being under under that, that witchcraft. It's through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim was shy. We are we are we are uh destroying those strongholds, man. And the elect is 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 is, is waking up. That being said, the elect is almost fully the whole elect is almost fully um um woken. Why? Because we're in the last days, man. We are in the last days. Right? This is why. If we go back to Matthew 24, I want to get that before I continue in um, Revelation 18 um, and verse 5 where I was at. I want to go back to Matthew 24. <clears throat> I want to go back to Matthew 24, right? I believe it's first eleven. Nope. Is it verse fourteen? There we go. Matthew twenty four and fourteen. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And the end of Babylon's um era, their rulership. You know the the um. The time period and the era and the rulership that Babylon has had over the world, you know, these so-called white people, you Edomites, is coming to an end. Right? This gospel is being preached in all four corners, man. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is all over the world now. Through 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 the, the Lord's prophets. Okay. So if that if that World War Three is coming, that destruction. And we know it's coming. We know it's on the horizon. That must mean that this this word is already being preached in all four corners of the world, man. That means that the elect is 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 is, is, is um is 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 um already um fully sealed, if you will. Revelations eighteen verse five: For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double onto her double right and double onto her double according to her works in the cup which she has filled filled to her double this cup of trembling that the lord has placed upon us the lord is going to place on you esau edom this destruction that you have put upon us, this destruction that you have put upon the world, you are pro-death, Esau, Edom. This cup that you have filled of iniquity, the Lord is going to punish you double. Verse 7, how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she says in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Verse 8, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai who judges her.
this third woe, which the scriptures speak about, is coming. World War Three is coming. And it's going to fall upon you, Babylon. It's going to destroy you. It's going to be your demise. Okay? From there, let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14. The second war is passed. That means World War II has passed. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. The Lord says that this third war is coming quickly. And we can see that. Just turn on the news channel. Just look at any um social media platform that's showing you insight on, on all these rumors of wars and what all these lands are doing. This third war cometh quickly. Verse 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. And of his Hamashiach, and he shall reign forever and ever. In other words, all these kingdoms that are in this world shall be taken over. All these kingdoms that are in this world that has power, every kingdom will be under rulership, under a new rulership, right? Overall, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, the Almighty, under Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the King of Kings. All right, under Yahweh Shai shall be King David, King Dawada. Under King Dawada shall be the 144,000. Which through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, King David is one of the 44,000, the elect men. Okay. Under the 144,000, the large multitude in all of Israel, Yasharala. Verse 16, and the four and 20 elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshiped God, saying, we give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned and the nations were angry yes you you heathens you edomites you were angry you were angry to realize that the that the king of kings who you angry call jc our messiah a hamashiach is a man from the tribe of Judah, a dark brown skinned brother, you know, and that our heavenly father is also a a a so a a, a brother a a father is also a a a, a dark brown you know um power. You were angry because you realize that you guys were all pawn to the Lord. You were angry and realized that you have no more power, that your power has, is gonna be stripped from you. You were angry to realize that our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is the power of Yasharala, the so-called black man, Latino, and Native American. You were angry to realize that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are, are fighting for us. And they're going to give, and it is the Lord's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Verse 16 in, in the Salaki 18, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come. And the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets the Lord is going to give reward unto the servants thy prophets and to the saints and to them that fear thy name small and great and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth and who destroyed the earth who had power? Who had power over this, this world?
This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. And it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who are the judges of the Lord and the servants? Right? You so-called black, Latino, Native American. You true biblical Israelites. Right? You guys are the true Jews, man. Which Jews is just um a short for the tribe of Judah. But in all, all Yasharala, all of Israel, you know, because Judah is a head child, we are all Jews. So who called themselves um who called themselves Jewish? Who called themselves the chosen nation? Who calls themselves a holy nation? Right? Who does that? You don't see the so-called black man, Latino, Native American doing that. You see us doing it now because the Lord has awoken, has um, um woke awoken us up, has woken us up, has awakened us. I believe that's the technical word, Salakia, you know. But we are woken now. But who who what nation is doing that? Who has covered the, the faces of the judges thereof? Who has power? Right, you so-called Jewish men, going back to the Amalekite, you Amalekites. Okay, you are the wicked. You are the wicked who has power. You are the wicked that has destroyed this earth. Right, so going back to Revelations 11 and 18, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, and they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was open in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightning and voices and thundering and an earthquake and great hail. The return of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to be a day of darkness and gloominess because the Lord shall destroy and judge the wicked. The wicked of our people first, but then the wicked of you other nations, especially you Edomites, so-called white men. From there, let's go to the book of Revelations. Salakia, not the book of Revelation, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51. And we're going to start at verse, we're going to start at verse 8. No, verse 7. Babylon, a.k.a. America, has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, going into her philosophy. Therefore, the nations are mad, and the nations are mad. The, these nations are crazy. These, these nations have all committed abomination, right? Because they are drunken off the wine of Babylon. They are, they are, they are in, um, they have committed iniquities against the Lord. Verse 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Suddenly, when this third world cometh, you're going you gonna to fall and going to be fully destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. Verse 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. You will not you will not get any type of healing. You will not heal back to, right, um, back to uh, uh, to to full strength. You will never heal back to full strength, or half strength, or a quarter of your strength. Forsake her, and let us go, everyone, into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the sky your judgment reaches on to heaven and is lifted up even to the sky what type of judgment does that sound like 
what type of judgment sounds like it reaches up to heaven and it reaches the sky? I don't know why my my internet be showing some crazy shit. What type of judgment shows that? What type of judgment shows that? What type of judgment shows that? A mushroom cloud, scrolls. And what type of weapons have this has has this um has a capability of creating this type of impact? Nuclear. Nuclear weapons has this type of power. All right. Nuclear weapons are the ones that can cause this this gigantic mushroom cloud that touches the earth and the heaven, that touches the earth and the skies, that the impact is so hot that it shall melt the elements, that the impact is so hot that it shall it shall blow off, destroy and burn and melt these military aircrafts anything in the surrounding okay the second death that lake of fire that lake of fire is gonna be them is gonna be caused by them icbm missiles and what are we talking about right now what is russia and usa uh threatening each other with nuclear threats this is not a joke. Okay? Babylon, read again in Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches onto heaven and it is lifted up even to the skies. This judgment is going to be part. This judgment is going to come upon her. Babylon, a.k.a. America. And all over the world. It is World War III caused by the ICBM missiles. Verse 10. The Lord has brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. And this is what we're doing right now because we are Zion. We are that monument of reminded to the world of the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And forever. Verse 11, make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the kings that of Medes. Make bright the arrows. These arrows is talking about these, these missiles, man. Okay? These ICBM missiles. Make bright the arrows. Gather the shield. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes. The Lord is raising up the spirits of you Russians. The Lord is doing this. You Russians are Edomites too, man. You don't want to go against Babylon. In reality, you don't. Biden, um, 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 not Biden, um, um Putin. You don't want to go against America. You don't even know why you, you're making these reckless threats. You don't even know why your, 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 your spirit is being raised up for war. For his, I'm going to continue verse 11. For his devices against Babylon. Whose device? The Lord's device. His plan. His, his agenda. It's against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. And we are his temple, man. The Lord got something special for you, Babylon, and the world. All the nations were angry. And Esau, Edom, you're going to be completely taken out. This is the, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. 
from then she shall be taken their arrow shall be as a mighty expert man none shall return in vain meaning every arrow is going to have its purpose every arrow is going to hit its mark every arrow created every icbm missile shall hit none shall return in vain the lord is causing an assembly of great nations from the north country to set themselves in array against babylon aka america babylon aka america is controlled by who you amalekites Amalek, the head tribe of Esau, Edom, you so-called Jewish men, the ones that control everything from their educational system, from the food, the food supply, the food plants, the Federal Reserve, where there's nothing federal about it. You control the money, you control the food, you control the education, you control the clothing, you control the media and push your propaganda. Right? Entertainment industry. You control all the corporations, the majority of the most powerful corporations out here. The world was given to the hand of the wicked. All right? Let me see if I can get another scripture. This is, this is the book of Job. Chapter 3, Salakia, Book of Joel, Chapter 3, Verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. We're proclaiming this among you Gentiles. All you heathens, you Edomites, and you two-thirds. Prepare for war, man. The Lord is waking up the mighty men of all these nations. Let the man of war draw near. Let them come up. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your, and your pruning, hooks, pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. So all your farming utensils, all your farming tools, turn them into weapons of war, of mass destruction. All you weak nations, you know, you're no longer weak. The Lord is raising up your spirit to go against Babylon. You are saying you are strong now. This is why North Korea has nuclear weapons now. Okay? This is why every nation has nuclear weapons now. They are ready for a nuclear war. And they think that they're fighting for power to gain power, especially you Amalekites. Not knowing that this is the Lord doing this. This is the Lord's movie. All right. And for this destruction to come upon the world just means that salvation is nearer than we believe. For who? For you Israelites. Because this place must be taken out. For in order for the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to reign all over this world. And he will reign. They will reign. Okay. I'm going to get two more scriptures. Romans 9. Romans 9. And let me get Romans. I believe it's Romans 13. Right. Romans 9. In Romans 9, I want to get this. Salak, yeah, that commercial. Uh, Romans 9, and we're going to get verse 17. 
for the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Right. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up? This is the same reason why the Lord raised up the Pharaoh in the time of our Our first captivity, when the Egyptians had us under them, and we were slaves to them. The Lord raised up the Pharaoh so that the Lord can take him out and his power can be declared. His power, the Lord's power can be declared throughout all the earth. And it has been. So this is the same reason why he's He's, he's, um, this is the same reason why he's, he raised up the Pharaoh. This is the same reason why he raised up you so-called, you so-called white people, you Edomites. Because the Lord's name, you know, was declared when he freed us from the Egyptians. But it wasn't enough. Now that for the same reason the Lord has raised up you Edomites, Right? I'm going to just get the scripture because there's a purpose for this. Jeremiah 16, verse 14. And it says, therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So we won't be remembered for the Lord freeing us from the land of Egypt. We're going to be remembered for verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So this second exodus shall be a a a a. a a remembrance forever. And we being Zion, we out here exalting the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and letting the world know that the Lord is going to destroy you, Babylon, by the means of ICBM missiles. And right, and, it's, and this is going to be a remembrance forever. The time that we got free from the land of the north and all the lands where the Lord has driven us when we were when while we are in your captivity right now in this present time. I'm going to read it again, verse 15, Jeremiah 16 and 15. In verse 15, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the land whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into, the, into their land that I gave unto their fathers. We're going to finish off with Romans 13, 11, right? And it reads, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Right? So it's time for you to repent. It's time for you to awake. You know, stop following the, the stop being drunk and off Babylon's wine, Israel. I'm speaking to you so-called blacks, Athenians, and Native Americans only. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. This third war is coming. This third war is on the horizon. We're in a time of war right now. It's high time for you to wake out of sleep because if not, you're going to be taken out by this destruction. And if you do decide to wake up, and when I say you, I mean if the Lord decides to wake you up, then you're going to be saved, man. You won't, you won't, you won't see, you won't get destroyed or be taken out by these ICBM missiles. And that's your salvation. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. Lord willing, on to the next lesson. Shalom.